And of all the auctions that you called, Harvey, which was the most special and the most exciting that you remember? That's hard. That's a hard one. Because I sold so many major name sales that I find it difficult to say most exciting. I always, you're dealing with a guy who got excited when he saw the things happening and the things were going well. And also know that you did your job right. And so the most exciting, yes, I need a big name sales. I've always been excited about it. The most exciting sale I ever attended, which we were part of, was when we sold the 1933 $20 gold piece. When it started out at a million, a million and a half dollars, it sold for $7.3 million. Now that's an excitement. I mean, even I wasn't on the block, but that was excitement. And I saw it happen in other sales, you know, that way. That we, yes, we partnered with Sotheby's, and uh, on that, but it was important. They were easy to work with. Uh, they worked. They let us catalog it. They brought in one of their number one catalogers. We wrote everything we could about it. We went through every law in the land to be it quoted, and we uh, we ended up having to be, make uh, uh, friends with the uh, Treasury Department and everybody else, uh, and also the staff at Sotheby's as well as our own staff. But we cr crisscrossed each other. Larry was the actually the um, guy, the fellow who, let's say, was the front man on that one, because he was working with one of their, uh, Sotheby's number one catalogs, his name was David Tripp. Larry and David are around the same age, give or take. I'm older than David. So therefore, there was more friendship between the two, yet we're still very, very close friends. We always were and we always will be. So I mean, uh, but it was, different things occur in your lifetime that you can't put a, a, a this is better than that, especially when we sold so many main major sales. Thank you.